And we are live at Unity Plaza. Salt Life is here. We're cooking up a storm outside in our Winn Dixie kitchen a little bit later in the show. Oh, look what that, I wonder what we're making. Can't <laughs> wait to find out. And today is the turquoise takeover. So anytime you see aqua, we've got plenty of it. Just decide in your head that it's turquoise because it's a part of the Lung Association's uh, campaign for Women's Lung Health Week, which is what this is. And did you know that I don't want to bring everybody down, so I'm going to send you to lungforce.org, but it is a very, very serious thing, lung cancer. Obviously, we all know that, but did you know how many women are affected through nothing they've done? So you can get that information, but again, it's Lung Health Week. Yeah, good to know. It's also May is Sleep Better Month. Did you know that? Sleep Better no, Month. No, I didn't month know that. I'm, I'm, a, li a little late, <laughs> a little late. On that. I wish I would have known. Probably because you didn't get enough sleep. Right, right. You, you exactly. Weren't, you weren't aware of that. But they did a survey, and this is a total eye-opener. Half of all parents would actually pay $100 just to get eight hours of sleep. Wow. And then there's 10% of everybody that was surveyed said they'd pay $1,000. So those are actually wealthy people then, right? Just to get eight hours of sleep. And I, I totally see this. A lot of people always ask, like, when you get married, does anything change? Not really. But when kids come into the equation, uh -huh. everything changes, and one of the biggest things is you will never get eight hours of sleep again. Oh, until in a row? 18. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, until they're 18 and out the door. I distinctly remember a time where four hours in a row was huge. Right. Five was impossible. So, yeah, I could see that. And, yes, if I had the offer on the table to pay at that time, and especially when, you know, you first have your baby, if you're nursing, nobody can help. Right. So everybody wants to offer, but you're like, no, thank you. But I got this. <laughs> it's interesting, though, too. Even though if the kids are gone, let's say you're doing a road trip or something, uh -huh. you still wake up like every three to four hours, like kind of oh, startled. I do. Like, someone I do. do something that I'll tell you what is also keeping me up nights now. The girl child, who's the younger one, is driving. Now, I showed you, <laughs> I showed you her uh, driving lesson one day. We did a little phone it in, and I took you from the back seat along right? on a driving lesson. That was at the very beginning, and that was in a car that was clearly marked student driver. Now she's driving. My car, so we're going to talk a little bit about student drivers and some of the statistics. There, there she is. There's Chloe. Um, practically having to sit on a phone book, which is just making me <laughs> even more terrified. But 64% of parents describe their children driving as frightening. 59% of parents actually allowed their children to break one driving law See that, while they were driving. See, I don't driving. get that at all. I don't why, especially like while you're you're learning and they're young, go ahead, break one. I'll look which away. Which one? Which one do you want? To, which, which one do you want it to be? So, 29% uh, allowed their teens to drive and talk on their phone at the same time. That's it's tempting sometimes. I'll want to text and say, "Where are you? What are you doing?" And I just I'll say, "Why didn't you text me back?" And my teenage son will yeah. say, "Really? You wanted me to text you and drive?" So you can't win with You teenagers. know what's interesting? Like when I was growing up, 16, I was so excited to get my license. But right. now that I'm old, 16 seems too young for kids to get their license. Like I just feel like they're just not mature yet. Now at the time, obviously, like we all thought yeah, we were you know, you plenty responsible. But right now I'm like, no way. You should be 21. Because <laughs> you know what? You, you're picturing your little boys all with their little boy faces on these tall bodies. <laughs> and that's what happens. You right. never quite get the visual of, you know, they're going to be ready but, to drive. I guess now I'm going to circle around in my, my logic. I think, I guess when they are 16, then it's nice that you don't have to keep driving them everywhere. So I think, I think maybe, that, right? Is that, oh. that, that's what helps it to make it, it a little easier? A lot. It does. It helps Were a you lot. more nervous now that Chloe's driving versus yes. Noah? Yes. Why and is it, that? For the reason that you just said, she doesn't look her age anyway. She's very tiny. And just to see this little bitty thing, and the first thing she does when she gets in the car is moves the seat up. like. <laughs> so now she's like this, as you saw in the picture, and she's so little, and it just it makes me feel like, look at her, like that's, that's actually... Do you find like, yourself driving. now driving better because you have to lead by example? So like yes. now you're always at 10 to 2, and yes. you're not right? I do, yeah, actually. Yeah. I definitely I do. And then whenever we're going anywhere, she says, I, can you let me drive? And even her driving instructor, she's taking lessons, will say, you got to let her drive. <laughs> and we're just going up to the store, but I feel like stressed out if I have to let her drive. It's sure. much more comfortable for me to do the driving, but I'm trying. I'm trying to let it go. Whoosh. Deep let breaths. it go. Gonna let it Get go. sleep and relax. Yes. All right, so this just came out. Speaking of the kids, it's the 15 most common name for geniuses. 15, ah. okay? And none of our kids made the list of the names. Oh. So we have failed as parents. So here we go. Number one is John. Two, Robert. Three, William. Four is Charles. Five is David. 
Any of these? Do you have even middle no, names? Make a list. Yeah. Okay. Came from James, America. Richard, uh -huh. Johan, Johan. So <laughs> George and Paul. Okay, you, that's not Joanne because there's no girls yet. Not yet. Thomas, Peter, Joseph, Mary, ah. and Elizabeth. So oh, 14 and 15, we got some, yeah, some ladies girls. in the mix. We have an Elizabeth. We have our own genius. Our own genius? Which is her name tag? They say a picture's or? worth a thousand words. That's right. And it says butt judge on her name, <laughs> a little tag there. <laughs> that, that's oh our, our, our resident she is genius impossible. here. She, if she, she, it's impossible for her to take a bad picture. I've said this about Elizabeth <laughs> from the beginning. She can't possibly take a bad picture. Yeah. No Photoshop needed for her. Now, when it comes to Photoshop, though, there's kind of a movement now against Photoshop, and Megan Trainer has taken steps. She has pulled her latest video, Me Too, because she said it's too Photoshop. She heard from some of her fans. Remember, her first big hit, All About That Bass, right. was against Photoshopping and all about being like full figured and healthy. Full figured, and, and they yeah. just Photoshopped her so much. She actually has the video. She had it taken down. So if you got a chance to see it, now how old is Megan? Lady. I'm not. I don't she's really follow young. her too much. She's like what, 20, 21? In her twenties? Yeah, she's yeah. very young. So that's a nice stance to take, you know, for her to come out and do it is. that. She might be a little bit older than that, but she's definitely um, appealing. Yeah. To the young ladies out there, which I think is great. So and then, yeah, like a, you know, we were saying, she set the standard with her song, mm -hmm. you know, and now she's she's backing it up. So I like to Would see that. Yeah. I'm all down with the photo. Yeah, I'm totally cool being Photoshop. Totally fine. Yep. With it. I would just say something. Lighting, like, Photoshop. Oh, did you say Photoshop? <laughs> Are you sure? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I, I'm okay. Or with it if a they did bit. Photoshop, you're in denial. Like, I don't think they did. No, I don't think they did. No, it's just good lighting. This one, but good lighting. <laughs> good lighting. No right? filter. <laughs> well, so there's this picture that's all over the internet, and this was someone who was not photoshopped. Um, it's a grandmother in Croatia, and her daughter actually is a makeup artist. And look at the difference. Isn't that amazing? She looks absolutely stunning. She's 80 years old. Again, no photoshop, no filter, to the best of my knowledge. I don't know if she's using a filter. In but this, look at that. In this picture, you can see the contouring that she did. So she's just right up there with the Kardashians yeah. when it comes to really creating an effect there. Wow, you go, Nana. She looks great. They're calling her the Glamma. I love it. We, we have a lot of those tips, too, on the show, right? Mm -hmm. We okay. try. We try always. In fact, we're going to be doing an ambush makeover soon, so be on the lookout for that. Somebody is going to get a makeover, and we're not going to give you too many details right at this those point. Those are always a lot of fun, those especially the so before and after. Fun. And a lot of times, too, when you do an ambush makeover, you're in your, you know, your yoga pants and maybe uh -huh. not a whole lot of makeup on, you know, uh -huh. so that will look really cool. All right, more to come on River City Live, so don't go anywhere. We'll be back and hit us up on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and everything else at River City Live <laughs> TV, Snapchat too.